Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Point with me, Aaron, and today I'm going to be showing you some more Star Citizen, uh, and we're going to be looking at this, which is the RSI Aurora. Uh, you'll notice that this one over here, I believe it's this one, um, is very similar to the first video I did on these. This is the ship I actually own in my hangar. This is a modded version of uh, Star Citizen, so that I can fly all these ships around, and it gives you all the new variants as well as the old ones. And yeah, so, uh, you've seen my other one for the Aurora, this is basically just the dumbed-down basic version of it. And I am going to be taking it for a spin if I can get the door to open. There we go. A little bit delayed on the reactions there. So I'm last I checked, there weren't any functional guns on this. Uh, but obviously, like everything else, the flight sort of systems were, you know, the, the ability to fly was there. Now this may actually send me rocketing off to begin with. So sorry if that makes anybody feel weird. Hang on, because it tends to do that. It tends to spin me in one direction first. There we go. Spinning. Crash into stuff. Collision. And up. And power. Okay. So. We get this horrible, and I mean horrible, um, tearing effect on the UI. There are no guns. I am trying. Um, and if I just... There you go, now we're out of the range a bit. If I pull the throttle down, suddenly everything merges back together. It's all lovely. F1, and we can see around the ship. As interesting or not as interesting as that may be. With my dude sort of just looking around everywhere. You can see the little platform off in the distance. Um, yeah, like I said, there's no actual gun if I, if I click none of the weapons at the bottom fire. Um, but yeah, it does, it does fly around, which is okay. Um, like I said, this is not meant to be playable. It is just... Well, it's not even meant for us to even be able to get at. Like, there's no engine effects, there's no weapons, there's not an awful lot, I must say, uh, with this one. The Hornet seems to be the most complete flight model out of all of them. But, yeah, so this is how you fly around in the Aurora. So now then, I'm going to do a cut here. Um, one of the comments, which was specifically this comment, suggested that I take a look at whether they've put in the damage models for the Hornet. So thank you very much for that comment. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut now and I'll show you that. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the damage state. So I apologise for the low frame rate. That constellation is driving my computer nuts. Um, so in front of me is the Super Hornet. I am flying the Standard Hornet. Um, and yeah, so if there are any sort of damage effects, it will apply to both, I do believe. So here we go. None, there's not even hit effects, that kind of thing. And it's the same if I do it to any of the others of course getting to any of the others is the hard question but i shoot the constellation nothing um right, let's just oh <laughs> sorry it's very hard to navigate with inverted controls like this mm -mm -mm. down a little to the left down a bit more and fire Move down a little bit more. Come on. The guns seem to have a reload time as well. But yeah, there is no there's no sort of damage effects going on here. Um, which is kind of disappointing. But hey ho, there are none. So yes, thank you guys. Uh like and subscribe if you want to see any more of these videos or any other videos for that matter. Um yeah, I'm gonna be doing all of them. Like and subscribe if you liked this, leave me a comment if you want me to do something that I've missed in your opinion or whatever. And I will get to it. So, thank you guys very much. And I will see you all next time. <laughs>